Welcome back, everyone, here to Live Now from Fox. I'm your host, Mike Page. Well, one of our uh, stories that we have been following uh, for weeks right now has been the Gabby Petito case. We've been with it every turn, every way that it's been going. We've been br bringing you these updates, and it's really not only uh, causing a lot of people to want to see, okay, what is the next development in this case? It seems like every time we do an update, it gets a lot, a lot of exposure, and we'll continue to give you these updates as we get them right here on Live Now from Fox. But we have a major update to talk about. Uh, it's going to be happening tomorrow regarding uh, Gabby Petito's autopsy. We're going to be getting some fresh details happening uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to bring in my colleague uh, here, Daytona Everett, uh, with the very latest. And uh, Daytona, this is some big news. We could be finding some big information regarding this autopsy. Mike, this is what have we have been waiting for for weeks now. We do know now that the Teton County Wyoming corner, Brent Blue, uh, he's going to be holding a virtual press conference regarding the final final autopsy report of deceased Gabby Petito again tomorrow. That press conference is going to be at 1230 Mountain Time, 230 Eastern. It's going to be limited to members of the press, so we're going to be a part of that. We're going to be showing it live here on Live Now from Fox. The final autopsy report, well, that's going to probably include Petito's time and cause of death, which are huge to help investigators determine who killed her and how it happened. For a little background on this, if you haven't followed it from the beginning, the FBI on September 19th discovered Gabby's remains at a dispersed campground in uh, the National Teton Forest. So Blue, the coroner, he later identified the remains and ruled that Petito's death was in fact a homicide. That was just the preliminary autopsy report though. We'll be getting the final report tomorrow. Petito's parents reported her missing eight days before her remains were discovered. The 22 year old was traveling cross country in that Ford Transit van that has gotten all the exposure with her fiance, Brian Laundry when that sh when she went missing. So Laundry, he returned home on North uh, to his home in Northport on September 1st in the van without Petito and her parents then filed a missing person report. That was September 11th. Laundry is now a person of interest in the case. His whereabouts have been unknown for weeks. His parents reported him missing uh, to police on September 17th. So there is an arrest warrant out for Laundry right now accusing him of bank card fraud. Uh, they allege that the last time that he used it was uh, a Capital One card, and that was between August 30th and September 1st during the time that Gabby went missing. So Mike will be keeping our eyes tomorrow on that autopsy report, because like we said, this is gonna determine a lot. The preliminary one did say homicide, but all the details surrounding that should be exposed tomorrow with all of that. Yeah, it's really gonna be something to see. And also, you know, think about all, all the people across the country that have really been these like social media and internet uh, sleuths that they've been really picking up uh, on this investigation and you know they will be definitely watching to see uh, what kind of new information they can get or remember everyone just a little bit of an information uh, new information uh, really gets the exposure for people that want to learn more about this. 